let's talk about the, the topic of work-life balance, or as I, I, I've read, you've referred to it as life-work balance. I actually call it life-work integration. I think balance is a bunch of BS when it comes to what we do. I mean, you know, we we all work to fuel our lives, you know? And I mean, I think it is a rare person who, you know, is so thrilled about work all the time that they would, you know, say that their life part doesn't matter. I mean, our lives are very important and our families and, you know, whatever drives us. And I think that our work has to really integrate with that. And I mean, our firm is so heavily female and, you know, moms and, I mean, they are, the reality is they are juggling way more than 50% of what's happening in the home. And so we provide an environment that allows them to do that successfully. They don't have to ask me to go volunteer at a school or to go take a child to a doctor appointment. Like they're not having to ask permission or, you know, get a favor for, for that. And I mean, as a woman, I mean, somebody who, you know, dealt with that on the regular when I was in a law firm. You, you literally feel like you're getting a favor when you're, you know, asking like, can I take my child to the doctor because they're vomiting all over the house? And that's absurd. Like I should be able to take my vomiting child to the doctor, you know, kind of with impunity. So, so this is interesting to me because I, I agree with you wholeheartedly, uh, but I've also heard you refer to, to family law as almost like an emergency room at, at times. I mean, I guess speaking of, yeah. of the doctor and when you have situations that pop up at you know all hours of the night or even on weekends, you're yeah. the type of human being that likes to be available to your clients you know, whenever they need you. But how do you juxtapose that with also wanting to be at your kid's soccer game or being with your family? Like, How, how do you make both work? I mean, you got a phone. I mean, if you got a phone, you can do whatever you need to do, wherever you need to do it. I mean, I have dealt with emergencies on the black beaches of New Zealand. I have dealt with random emergencies on the top of a mountain in Colorado while I was doing a a college visit with one of my kids. I mean, you do what you got to do. And I think that if you hire the right people who have a certain level of responsibility of care for the clients and understanding what is an emergency versus what is not, because obviously sometimes a client's going to think something's an emergency and it's actually not like it can wait and it will have no impact negative on them. If we wait, you know, till Monday morning to do something versus on a, a Saturday, let's say, but also having a team, I call it a bench, a deep enough bench, kind of like a football team. If you have a deep enough bench, then it works. I mean, I have people who love to work on the weekends because they don't want to be contacted or emailed. They're in their zone. They get up early Saturday morning and they are pumping out six hours of work. And it's literally more like 16 hours of work. And that's what they want to do. But then on Wednesday, they're going to go get their hair done. They're going to go to a soccer game. They're going to go volunteer in their kid's class. Like, it allows us to all do what works for us. And I mean, to me, it's the ultimate freedom. Like I'm a big freedom person. I mean, I, I don't want anyone telling me what to do, when to do it, how to do it. That obviously part of my rebellious nature, I guess. But, um, you know, I think freedom allows you to really live your best life because you get to work in your strength. 